Throughout London, the local mayors of the 33 boroughs are seen as important roles. But why is that? And what do they do? Outside the civic centre within the heart of Enfield Town is where the public come for advice as well as to obtain services from the Enfield Council. But where does the Mayor of Enfield come into the equation? Could you just explain what the Mayor does for the borough? Well, depending on what type of Mayor is to uh, be the first citizen of the borough, to represent the, the borough, and if, for example, any dignitary come, they are the first person that um, would meet, for example, if it was the royal family or anyone else of importance from any other country who have perhaps wanted to see our borough. I'm here to ask Councillor Doug Taylor for his opinion. How do you represent the same political party as well as the Operation Morb within Pondesent? How do you connect and discuss problems with Councillor Chadri Anwar? Anwar is a councillor in Pondesent as I am, as is the third councillor, A for Orhan. And what we do together is we look at how best to represent those interests and we have weekly surgeries, we meet to talk about issues relevant to people in the ward. So we act as representative councillors, as he would do whether the mayor or whether not the mayor. Uh, as the mayor himself is the local ward councillor for mm. Pond's End, yeah. as well as the director of your trust, how, how does that influence the organisation? What it means is that we get people coming making inquiries about what we can do a lot of people, because they've recently arrived or they've never had to deal with the structures before, they just don't know who to go to, where to get advice, where to get help. And so we sort of signpost people. There's issues about housing, issues about immigration, issues about legality, sometimes about debt. Just people are having a hard time generally with making sense of modern life. And they don't always know what the role of the local council is. So we sort of, I suppose our job is to point people towards him. He has the surgery regularly every week, um, well the three ward councillors do, in Ponders End Library. And we tell people you can go and see them on a Saturday morning. And then on the other hand, when people go and talk to him, because they know he's there, and it's an issue which we can help with, he points them towards us. So there's a sort of two-way relationship going on there. Here in the council chambers within Enfield Civic Centre is where all the councillors of the London Borough of Enfield connect, discuss, debate about the issues. Obviously the mayor sits in that seat right there, but is he a part of the discussion? Is he the one that stops the debate? Or is he the one that keeps it healthy? Briefly, could you just explain as a mayor what you do for the borough? Mayor is the first citizen of the borough and nobody takes precedence over the mayor excepting the uh, royal family and the Lord Lieutenant of London. These are the two areas where they take the precedence over me. Other than that, I take precedence over any civil uh, functions. I also, the, uh, my other job is that I am the speaker of the chamber when the council meeting takes place. My job exactly like the member in the House of Commons to control and ensure a healthy debate and to bring to a decision by the councillors. But I remain impartial only to see that everybody is doing their job properly and within the decency and decorum of the chamber. Do you know who the uh, Mayor of Enfield is? No. Would you like to find out? Yeah, I would. Basically, um, I've, I don't know exactly who it is, and I would like to find out. Fantastic. Talking about politics to people, people would all automatically think, oh, politics, I wouldn't know anything about that. Because they have a disinterest in it. And that's shown in like, recent years and like elections and stuff like that. There's people have, they don't, just don't seem to care. And I guess that's all kind of spilled over to me as well. Briefly, could you explain from your point of view what the mayor does for the borough? Yeah, well, I mean, I've, um, before being a member of parliament, I've was a council, local councillor uh, for some 11, 12 years. And so I saw quite close hand uh, a successive number of mayors doing their job for the people of Enfield. And they are, they are the first citizens of Enfield. And so, you know, when I go along to lots of community events, 
the mayor is often there, and he is very much the first citizen, and he's he's there on behalf of us all in a uh, a non-party political uh, position, effectively. Although he was a, was appointed uh, from the the ruling party of the council, um, he's there in a in a in a sort of figurehead role where he's uniting the borough in support of community causes, and he was also that important ceremonial position as the first citizen. So he's there to represent the borough of Enfield at civic occasions. Uh, from your perspective, could you explain what the mayor does for the borough? Well, for me, the mayor is the first citizen of the borough, and he's a non-political appointment that uh, takes office for a year. And many people think it's just ceremonial, but he fulfills both a practical role, both on the council and within the community. And I think a very important role, which uh, I do agree, not everyone uh, knows who their mayor is, but most people are aware that they have a mayor. The mayor is seen as a prominent figure attending people's events. Why is that? Well, I think what, what people like to see is that, for example, if you're in the voluntary sector, or you're working in what we call the third sector, Many people give up a lot of time and effort to support causes they believe in, helping those less advantaged. And actually, occasionally, for them, it's a real treat for both those they are serving and those doing the volunteering, for example, to have the uh, first citizen of the borough turn up and not only learn and understand the work, but it also gives a sense of appreciation and recognition much more than you can imagine. And a mayor, of course, being a non-political appointment in his ceremonial dress, just delivers that perfectly for many organisations. And remember also, um, the mayor often meets with other mayors right across London, here at Capel Manor, um, every May, I think it is, or June. All the mayors from across London come and meet here in Enfield. Uh, and that's a considerable learning experience, it's a good honour for us, and it's a recognition uh, of Enfield as well. Thank you.